So welcome to the Connected Yoga Teacher Podcast, Jane. It's fantastic to have you here today. Hey, thank you so much. I'm really excited. Me too. I'm excited because I feel like I know you and yet I have a lot of questions like, um, I know the schedule of city team quite well. I hear from you guys all every week on the podcast, the rock stars and, uh, but I'm excited to find out a little bit more. Well, ask away. <laughs> I'm so, ready. <laughs> I kind of want to know, like, how did schedule of city start in the first place? How did the company begin? Sure. Well, it was started by our founder and CEO, Jerry Natuno. Uh, he is, um, he was in the financial space and then uh, he came up with this idea and it was literally an idea on the back of a napkin to offer online scheduling. Uh, at that point in time or in the beginning, we were more service focused, more service based. And over the years, we saw this opportunity with the class space that it was underserved and all of the solutions were really overpriced and complicated. And we really wanted to jump in and help those businesses out. And so um, here we are, <laughs> which is great because the, the last time I checked, I think we have over, wow, 60,000 classes available on Schedulicity, which is really great. A lot of yoga studios. Um, so we're just moving along and keeping things better and better. So when was that? How long ago was that that you joined Schedulicity then? I joined in 2007. Uh, we actually, we were a different company. We're under a different name. Um, and so it wasn't until 2009 that it was Schedulicity, but I've been here since the very beginning. I started off as a quality assurance tester and then Jerry, he, he asked me to head up support. And so I was, was doing testing and support, helped out with um, developing our support department. And then I found my home and product, which was just a natural fit. I love talking to users. I love creating things. I love solving problems. And so I've been in product now for almost five years, four years. <laughs> I don't <Nice>. know. <laughs> like I, I feel like I've always been in product maybe, but yes. And it's, it's, it's perfect for me. And, and then it's, yeah, go ahead. You guys are located in Montana. Yes. In Bozeman, Montana. It's beautiful. It's well, if you like cold weather <laughs> and snow, uh, you know, just talking to you earlier about the weather right now, it's kind of sleeting and it'll hail soon, but it's beautiful. I think everybody that lives in Bozeman is just happy. It's, it's such a wonderful place to be, to be able to look out of our office window and see the mountains covered in snow or, you know, be able to walk outside of our office. And there's a park nearby with all of these hiking trails um, we have all these dogs at the office, so everybody in the summertime, we go on group hikes and it's just, it's really amazing. I think that's why everyone here is so happy is because we get to live here. <laughs> that's nice. I, but, I often see like on Instagram or different social media, your dogs, and I think they're even on your website and like, yes, <laughs> I love yes. it. <laughs> um, so I, I would like to dive in and ask you a question that a lot of connected yoga teachers ask me right away when they start finding out about Schedulicity. They always mm -hmm. say, well, how is it that this company can offer this free? <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Great question. So what we wanted to do, so we've always had a uh, class scheduling piece, but it wasn't until a couple of years ago that we, we decided to lower the barrier to entry and offer a free class scheduling piece because we, at our very core, we're, we are committed to helping small businesses grow. And, and so we wanted to give this particular market the ability to basically elevate their business and do it for free. Um, I know a lot of yoga studios that, it, that I've attended over the years or, 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 you know, attended classes, 
a lot of them manage their studio on paper and this allows a solution where you know you don't you don't have to pay for it you can you can try it out and then what we find is that once these studios get to a certain point then we have the ability for them to grow within schedulicity so we have things like package management and auto billing and an integration a payment integration with square and so that's how we make our money is with those more premium add-ons. So as soon as a studio is ready, then they can, instead of managing packages, auto spreadsheet, which I've definitely seen punch cards. Yep. Um, it's just a little, it's easier. It's, um, it's giving them more time. Um, and so, yeah, that's how we make our money. It's pretty amazing. I remember because... When we first opened Tone Yoga Studio and On Sound, yeah. uh, we started with Schedulicity and it was a paid thing. And I forget, it was like $11 a month or something. Mm -hmm. But we could put all the classes that we wanted on there. And then I remember that day when it was like, now it's free to do that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so even for my own yoga business, I feel like then there was a shift of... Um, you know, once I was booking 20 one-on-one -on -one sessions, then I was making enough money to be able to pay for that package um, mm -hmm. and to upgrade. So it really does make sense and it really does help, you know, the yoga right. teacher who's just starting out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. For sure. There was something else I wanted to ask you about that. It'll come back to me. Okay. <laughs> So when you said that you started off as more so service and now you're mm -hmm. switching into the yoga space, how are you seeing, like, are you seeing a lot of yoga studios and teachers signing up and, and using Schedulicity? Yes. I mean, we just started marketing probably the end of, uh, well, probably at the end of, of last year, just because we wanted those pieces in place that we know yoga studios need, like the auto billing, the package management, the obvious payment integration. And we're, see, we're so we're just starting to see that uptick and yoga studios, I think we had, wow, 12, 13, can't remember, that just signed up the last time I looked yesterday. Um, so we're seeing a lot a lot more yoga studios becoming aware of us. We know that it's going to take a little bit of time just because there are those players in the space that have been there for a while. They were concentrated only on yoga. And so we are working to get our solution in front of studios because we think it's a great product and, and you can try it out for free. <laughs> I remember now what I was going to say about that, being able to try it for free. What I really appreciate uh, when I work with yoga teachers as a consultant and mm -hmm. they are new or say they have kind of a schedule that feels like it's all over the place. What I love is that they can start to plug it in. Like if they say, I want to add one-on-one -on -one classes, then I'll say where? Like now you need to pick a day, a time. <laughs> And maybe book your lunch break. And then that sets the mindset of like, oh, I could get booked up and I need to block off my lunch kind of thing. Mm -hmm. so it's very helpful. Well, I, well, and I think what's great is that you don't have to, when you are starting off with Schedulicity, you don't have to put in every single class. You could just start by putting in your Tuesday class or Tuesday classes. And then once you see that your students really enjoy not only seeing your schedule online, but the fact that they can reserve a spot. I personally love it with a particular yoga studio in town. She's very popular. So I like the fact that she has online scheduling because I know that if I just show up, she's not going to have any space for me. <laughs> right. So it's really nice to be able to have that ability to just to just book online with her, which is which is awesome. Yeah. Well, I'm even thinking of a workshop that I have coming up and there's one spot left in it and I, I don't have to worry. Like I don't have to email anyone back. It'll just say full. Right. Point. Yeah. Wow. That's so nice. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. It's very helpful. Um, so can you share what some of the future things, because here's one thing you're in product and you, mm -hmm. I feel like you guys are really putting a lot of new features out mm -hmm. quickly. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yes. So uh, 
You mean what what we're planning yeah, on? Yeah, like in the what's future? coming next? That's what I what's always like to next? ask you. Yes, no, that's great. So a couple of different things that we want to do, um, you know, in, in, throughout this next year, through this year. Um, one of the things is advanced class features. You know, again, like I said earlier, we want to grow with you. So there gets a point where you need more than auto billing. You need more than packages. You need more than payment. Um, a lot of yoga studios that I've talked to, they're ready for a wait list. I believe you and I have talked about that before. There's also um, studios have requested that their students be able to book multiple classes at once or they want guest booking. So I can book a, you know, your workshop if you have space for myself and my mom or myself and my friend. And so it's just more of those advanced features that maybe a studio starting off doesn't necessarily need. Um, so it's, you know, things like that. And then we are looking at a, a feature that is called Fill My Class. Um, so it allows studios to highlight new classes that they want to fill or highlight new instructors that want to establish a following. So they could say, you know, um, on Tuesdays at 2, we have this new instructor and you should check her out. And we'll give you a little bit of a discount just to check out the studio. So that's really exciting. And then we're also looking into uh, being able to allow businesses to promote other businesses within the Schedulicity community. So we are very much community based. We are very local. So in Bozeman, there are a large number of businesses in various industries. And what, what we found is that they know each other. So those business owners know each other. They want to talk to their students about their esthetician, their personal trainer, their plumber, their chimney sweep. Right. And so we're giving them the ability to basically rec recommend these other businesses so that I know, oh, okay, you know, Shannon, I trust her and I'm looking for a hairstylist. I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to see what she recommends or who she recommends. And so it's really just um, allowing businesses to lift each other up, which is really, really cool. That is really cool. Yeah. I was thinking the other day when I went to book something, I was like, why can't this, this, uh, I think it was a haircut. And I was like, oh, yeah. I wish they were on schedule. So then I could just see who I wanted to book with when they're available. Like instead we do this whole phone tag. So that's exciting. Right. That's other businesses as well. Well, the other piece too is that it's with someone that you trust. So it's one thing to read a review from someone that you don't know. It's another thing to get a recommendation from a professional that's in the professional community, in the business community, who says, Yes, I give this person my, you know, stamp of approval. And again, cross promotion is really uh, I mean, for lack of a better word, it's a really beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's um businesses should help one another out um, in their community. So it just gives them the opportunity to do that. That's nice. Yeah. I feel like when I have talked to you, I always feel you and the whole Schedule City Rockstar team, like even if I have a question and then I say, oh, I'd really like to see this feature added, I feel like you're listening. And then, you know, some of those things are implemented pretty soon after that. So how does yes. that work? <laughs> so I, this is one of the things that I, I absolutely love about my job here is that I get to talk to studio owners. I get to talk to business owners. They open up to us and they have no problems giving feedback as soon as we release something. Um, even feedback through, Hey, I'm just setting up my business. These are the maybe something that I ran into, could you look at it, you know, or how do I do it? And we identify these areas where we can improve it. Um, and then going to the product development team into engineers and engineers are just problem solvers. And so it's really nice to see those teams working and saying, hey, in this particular workflow, this is what people are running into, or these are the things the, that um, the community wants 
And so we just kind of look at, okay, well, what would best benefit everyone who uses the application um, in this particular industry? Um, and then we solve it, we put it out there, we get more feedback. And so it's like this, it's really a beautiful communication back and forth. Whenever we can, we try to, once a solution is made, we, we uh, reach out to you <laughs> and other studio owners and we say, hey, you know, what do you think about this? Is there, before we maybe release it to the wild, are there other things that you would change? Did we, did we get this right? And, and I think that's really nice with that feedback loop with, uh, with business owners. And, and obviously we want to get it out there. I, I wish we had all those features out tomorrow. Um, it never happens fast <laughs> enough in my mind, but we've been, yeah, like you said, a lot of times you'll send me something and it will be a, Oh wow, that's a great idea. Let's do that. And we're able to fit it in within the next couple of weeks sometimes. Um, so that's, that's pretty fun. Yeah. I remember when you called me, I was like, yes. you're like, because at that point, we didn't know each other, you know, I had, and you were just asking, like, do you have some feedback as a studio? And as a yoga teacher, and I remember mm -hmm. saying, yeah, like, how much time do you have? <laughs> I have a lot of feedback, yes. which I love. I love that. I love that we're able to, you know, again, solving problems and and looking at how can we improve things? How can we make your life easier? I mean, I would love it if all you had to do was just show up to class and everything else was just taken care of magically. <laughs> I know. I've <laughs> joked about like putting a chip in students. It's just like, boom, they're here. And then now they've left and it's not possible yet. <laughs> but it certainly beats like the paper. And I love even how I can, I print off like my class roster if I want mm -hmm. to like, check it off like who's here or did they pay and and if I want to do it on on paper right in front of them I can uh, like mm -hmm. easily and then take that and update it on the computer yeah right well the other beautiful part too and you know this really well you know for your workshop people are signing up online you're getting their contact information specifically their email address and you get to start creating that client database essentially where the next workshop that you have you can send out a marketing message that says hey I'm doing another workshop the last one was full you should sign up today you should sign up early and so it, it allows you to communicate with your clients and, and and get them coming back in for those those particular classes or workshops or events yeah yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. So I heard you say that you do yoga, and I know that. Yes. You were just telling me that you went to a brand new yoga studio. So tell mm -hmm. me, like, what? when did you start doing yoga? What What does your practice look like? Let's see. So I started practicing, wow, 20 years ago? <laughs> 20 years ago. And it started off, a friend of mine, a Bikram studio opened in town, and a friend of mine said, hey, you have to come and check this out. And I absolutely, you know, the yoga glow right after class when you're like, where, where did this come from? How did I not hear about this before? And I was a student of that particular studio for many years. Those yoga instructors, the owners, they're still um, my full on gurus. They're, they're amazing individuals. Um, and so throughout the years, I mean, like we talked about earlier, I transitioned to different styles. Uh, I was, after Bikram, it was a shtanga, and then I moved just more into a vinyasa flow. And um, I feel like that's kind of my my groove, <laughs> even though I go back to hot yoga every once in a while. I mean, we do live in the frozen tundra, so it's yeah. it's nice to sweat every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> to feel the heat yeah yes, exactly. my daughter just said to me today are there places in the world that aren't cold I was like yeah <laughs> yeah there are she's like why don't we live there <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah my niece I was talking to her she lives in Tennessee and I was telling her that it was snowing and she kind of what <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So funny, so funny. I would yeah. miss it, I think, if I didn't have snow. 
I would. Yeah, I would too. I would too. So what do you see for your yoga practice in the future? What, what does that look like for you? Are you thinking about taking your yoga teacher training? I, I am. And it, it's interesting after a couple years of practice, uh, there was that moment where I'm when I'm laying in Shavasana and, and I was thinking I I have to I have to do this I, w- I want to be an instructor I want to go to teacher training and over the years it just it just hasn't hasn't worked out so far I am looking at teacher trainings for the fall you and I've talked about this you've sent me a couple of really great <laughs> places to go um, and I'm hoping that it'll work out uh, but the beautiful part is is that it's always an option. So if it doesn't work out this fall, then I have faith that the universe will tell me when it's time. <laughs> and and I, I just know that that's what I, I would love to do. I would love to make that a part of a part of my life to to give this gift. I mean, it's it, it, it really is truly amazing. I've, I've taught some classes with friends and family and it's just so nice that they their faces just light up and so i probably should be trained though <laughs> before i start offering classes all right i think to a few friends and family and saying like try this out we learned this in class i think that's nice yeah, yeah. it's yeah. great mhm so what about the crew at schedulicity are there any other people there that do yoga or go to yoga classes oh my goodness yes I feel like, wow, most of this, the most of the rockers all practice. Wow. Yes. In fact, we we actually we used to. I'm I'm thinking we're gonna start this again, but we used to have a local instructor come into the office and we would <laughs> stop everything, and we she would she would teach a class, and it was every couple of weeks, and it was just so lovely, especially. In, in working with people and giving your energy, it, it's it's really nice to fill up your own gas tank and then you're ready to just go back and uh, and uh, get after it again. And so I'm I'm hoping we're going to start that again in the summer. But yes, we we have a, a lot of people that that practice yoga, which is cool. Yeah, that must be why they're so friendly and helpful yes. <laughs> and sending like little funny gifts. I know. Shifts, however you say it. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things on the chat, especially like on a Friday. Yeah. Yes, I, love I would agree. <laughs> I would agree. <laughs> um, so if you had had to think of one piece of advice for yoga teachers or yoga studio owners that are thinking, I'd like to bring schedulicity into what I have, but, but they're not sure. Is there any advice that you would give them? I would say it's free, so you can check it out. You don't have to set it up all at once. I really, I really truly think that once you do, once you do go through that, those couple of steps, it doesn't take very long, that you will start to see the, the power that it has behind it and, and the time that it gives you back. So I would say just, just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> just sign up. It's it's it doesn't take very long. It doesn't take very much of your time and it and you'll eventually see that it saves you a lot of time. Yeah. And the Rockstar team is there if you want to call, email oh or goodness. chat. I love the chat. That's my favorite because I feel like I can write my question mm-hmm. and then it'll just make a little noise like bing, someone's getting back to you. Yeah, and it's fast. Yeah, they're amazing. Yeah. I feel like the response time is crazy it's crazy and you know there are a lot of there are a lot of companies that don't have that phone call option and some people would just rather talk to a human and and it's really great because we are here we're here and and they're super like you said they're super helpful and they're always just really nice yeah i love i love hanging out with them they're they're incredible (laughs) That's so nice. Well, thank you so much for your time today in answering some questions that I had. And uh, just thank you for all that you're doing for yoga teachers, for yoga studios, and for the Connected Yoga Teacher listeners. Hey, thank you. And our pleasure. Have a great day. Hey, you too.